Sony FX3 is the camera that's behind the majority of all the videos I make on this channel. But disclaimer, everything I mentioned in this video about this camera can be replicated by any camera you choose. With time and patience, you can achieve the look you're going for with any camera. But with that, I've been shooting with the Sony FX3 for I believe close to a year now, I've kind of lost track of time. And in my opinion, this is the camera you use in a sterile environment where you can easily replicate the same things over and over with little to no effort. The reason I say that is because there are settings within the Sony FX3 that allows you to rely less on the camera when creating, but rely on the peripheral gear you have in order to create the look you're going for. For example, the Cine EI mode and the dual ISOs, the 800 and 12,800 isos so going into every shoot knowing that in this shooting mode within the camera i am limited to just two isos which means when i am shooting i have to grab more lights take away lights add filtration and indeed just to get the image to how i want it to look gotten so used to shooting this way that I apply it a similar method when I'm using the Fujifilm X-H1 or the Canon RP. I stick to a certain ISO range and I only use certain ISO values and then I use light to fill in the blanks. For the most part, I keep it fully rigged out in configuration one on this tripod right here when I am shooting in this office studio setting. The tripod is the Viltrox VX18M professional heavy duty video tripod with a fluid drag head and a quick release plate. I also have this iFootage professional mini tripod with the Avella video tripod fluid head with the quick release plate for when I need to get shots that are lower to the ground or just as a kickstand when I'm running and gunning at an event. The two main lenses I use are the Sony 90mm f2.8 G and the Sony 20mm f1.8 G. And I mostly use these when I'm shooting in this space, but when I'm running and gunning, I uh, solely use the Tamron 28 to 75 f2.8. I use these same lenses in each configuration depending on what I'm shooting. Configuration two is a half rig. In this setup, I use internal batteries and a monitor. I was using the Anton Bauer battery base plate for a while, but I ended up using that for another rig, which I will be talking about in another video. I use this configuration when I have to carry less gear and I wanna use a monitor. I mostly use configuration one for when I'm using handheld because of the added weight and it cut out some of the jitters and shakes. Configuration three is when I go out and I wanna just shoot some test footage or I wanna take out the FX3 and just capture just to capture and then use the footage to grade for practice. This is the basic inconspicuous setup, which means I'm not rigging it out at all. It's just the body itself with an external mic and that's pretty much it with the internal battery. I don't take anything else. I use the screen on the back and LUTs that I install in order to figure out how to expose the image correctly. I think this is the ultimate creator camera if you are someone who creates in a small studio and you want a camera that lives on a tripod. Although you can use this camera however you please, I limit this camera to the ways I shoot in this studio. So with that, use your gear how you want to use it. I am a multi-camera system user and I have cameras for different scenarios, different types of jobs, and the various ways that I shoot. For instance, I primarily shoot Fujifilm when I want to create without boundaries, and I'll talk more about that in this video right here. Thanks for liking and subscribing while staying awesome. Stay awesome.